Hello kiddies, it's me again, Mr. Zuniga. I'm happy to be in touch with you. And today we're doing language. And once again, it'll be on your book. It'll be on page 25. So get a hold of your book. It's a grammar spot book, pencil, eraser, sharpener, something to decorate on your taste. And let's work on. So let's work on this and um, I'm gonna start by telling you today we're talking about numbers and um, since we are talking about numbers what does this have to do with language with grammar class it has to do a lot see we're gonna work on numerals numerals are those symbols those digits you use to make numbers be expressed like number 20 2019, 2019, 13, 100, 100, and on the other hand, text. It's the, same, it's the numbers, but we won't use numerals. No, we'll use ABCs, we'll use words. 1, for example, 30, 55, and 200. Okay, so see the difference between numerals and text when expressing numbers. And um, that's why we're working on page 25, this one. Okay, page 25, page 25. Okay, turn your book to page 25 and let's do this. As usual, we'll be printing the date on top of your page on the heading. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd. 2020. Don't forget to capitalize use of commas, superscript and D. And D. Yesterday I make a, I made a mistake, but many of you use TH as well. And oh no, sorry, my bad. I'm talking about the, the wrong class. It was another class that made that mistake. So 22nd with ND. Period at the end. Don't forget that, please. Okay, let's put hands on work. And um, let me tell you that this page will be using something very often. It'll be a hyphen. A hyphen, a dash, is what we, what we know in Spanish as guión. It's a little line and it looks like this. Okay, like this one. Alrighty, so what are we, why are we going to use that? Because sometimes some numbers need them. We're talking about specifically those numbers who are part of tens, or in other words, the ones after the tens, for example, 26. 26 has two tens and six units. To write them in text, we're going to use a hyphen like this, 26. Notice there is a little dash over here. Another example, 34. 30. Four. Tens, 30. Ones, 4. So that's why 34 is going to have a hyphen. Another example, 65. 65. Hyphen again, dash, guión. So whenever you use tens and digits, you're going to use this one. Okay? Keep that rule in mind because I'll be evaluating how you handle that. Alrighty then, with that said, let's work on saying the numbers aloud. We're going to read the numbers from the chart. This chart. I don't have it in color, but you do. So let's read each of the numbers, okay? Read with Mr. Suniga. Are you ready? 11. 11. 12. 12. 13. 13. 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18. Okay, let's continue on the chart. Next numbers. 19, 20, 20, 
21, notice the hyphen over here, 21, 22, 22, 23, 23, 30, 30. Notice how I am not saying 13, no, 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 not 13, 30, 30, 40. Something important to notice about 40 is that the spelling doesn't have a U, only an O. 40, not 14, don't confuse those. 50, do not confuse it with 15, no, 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 not 15. 50, 50, 50. 60, not 16, 60. 70, not 17, 70. 80, 80, not 18, 80. 90, 90, not 19, 90. And how about this number? Probably you're not too familiar with this one, it's 100, 100. If it were 200s, we would say 200, of course. 300. Likewise, 1,000. Oh, this is new new for you, you say? Oh, it shouldn't. 1,000. When you need to express thousands, you're going to use these words, of course. And don't forget, there's a comma to the left of three digits. So the thousands all usually have a comma when expressed in numerals. Okay, time to work. Grab your pencil. We're going to complete the chart over here, like this. We're going to use... Cursive, cursive handwriting to tell the numbers using ABCs, using text. Okay, so here's the list of numbers. The first number, what is it? Can you tell me? 554? Yes. Notice that we need a dash over here. Okay, dash, hyphen. Next, 201. 201, 201, 82 with hyphen, you see, with dash, 913, next number is 36, you need a hyphen, 738, you need a hyphen, 15, 444 with hyphen again, 672, hyphen again. 831, 59, 1000. Okay, we're done with numbers. Pause the video so you can copy them with extra care. Don't forget to use cursive and don't forget to draw the hyphens. Don't forget hyphen, hyphen hyphen, 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 and hyphen, and also one here. Don't forget 40 has letter O only, not letter U. Don't confuse 13 with 30. Don't confuse 50 with 15, and so on. I know you're careful. Just It's just a reminder. Okay, are you finished? If not, pause the video and finish. Okay, I'll move on. Next thing is to write the missing numbers in a series of words. This part confuses the students because this requires some, some wit from your intelligence. What do you have to do if you have 100, 200? So what is the next number? And some students misunderstand they write 201. But no, you're following a pattern. You're adding, you're, you're skipping numbers in one hundred. So you're leaping numbers. So we're gonna count in hundreds, in one hundred. So next number after one hundred, two hundred, three hundred is next number, okay? Three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred. Like that. Okay, pause the video so you can copy with care. And after you're done, we should continue with next exercise, number two. Number two says 11, 22, 
33 and some students scratch their heads on what shall I do here Mr. Zuniga 